everybody. It's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a multi ring pour today. And um, all but a couple of my paints I made up myself. Uh, just a big combination of different paints. And let's go over those. My base coat is Blick um, Titanium White. And my next color is Modern Masters Antique Bronze. And my next color is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And I've added some Masters Touch Viridian and Pebio Dyna. And I'll show you that color. Very pretty, just a very pretty light green color. And you can see the gold in there. My next color is Amsterdam Reflex Rose, and I added some of the Amsterdam White and a little dab of Liquitex Magenta. It was just, the Reflex Rose alone was just a little bit too bright for what I wanted today, so that's why I added that magenta. My next paint is Golden Fluid Acrylic Silver Iridescent Liquitex Soft Body Muted Violet. Very, very pretty. And I'm showing you consistency here today. A little bit on the thicker side than I normally use because I am doing a ring pour. Okay, my next color is the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold Amsterdam Phalo Blue. Very pretty. Okay, and my last color is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, Amsterdam Phalo Blue, Liquitex Soft Body Muted Violet, and I added a little bit of Amsterdam Black to that to darken it up. Okay, and all of these colors will be in my description if you do like them. And uh, today my pouring medium was seven parts of the mix, one part paint, and I did add a squirt of water to each color. So what I'm going to do is uh, put down my base coat, I'm going to fill some cups up, and then I'm going to bring you back, and we will start painting. And as a side note, no silicone used in my paints today. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put my base coat down of my, uh, my white. I've filled my four little cups here. And I'm just going to do some uh, ring pours on it. And I left a little bit of each color of my paint in case I want to do another cup. Or I might add some ribbons. I'm just not sure yet. But let's get started laying down the paint here. And I did sandwich some white in between a couple of the colors. I was a little bit concerned, like I had pink and green and... Um, not wanting that to get muddy, so I did sandwich some white in there. Okay, there's our first cup. If I have negative space today, too, that's fine. And I'm going to just split this cup up a little bit here. Very pretty coming out of there. Got a lot of the pink coming through on this one. And this is the spot if you want to fast forward a little bit through me laying these down, that's fine too. Okay. Let's do our next cup. And 
And again, I think I will split this cup up. And I just have a very little bit left here, so I will put it right here. Okay, and my last cup. Very pretty colors coming out of these cups. And I will put a little ring pour down here. And let's add one here. And I will add one right here. And I'll just make this one a little bit different here. And a little bit more paint here. Might as well use up. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just take my skewer and fix a little bit of my circles here at the end. Make them look a little prettier if I can. Just take care of some of the trailing off paint here. Okay, and now I'm going to torch it. Okay, and now I'm going to start some tipping. We'll go off that corner and come back. And let's go down to this edge over here. And bring it back. And I will try this edge over here. And bring that back. And 
and I will get this far edge over here. And bring that back. And I am going to get this, run a little paint off of this edge over here. And bring it down. With the mix, I found the further you spread out your lines, the prettier they are. I'm just going to take a look at it here now. And check my sides and my corners. And see what I want to run off yet. And I think I will run some of this paint off just to stretch this all down. I don't like my rings all uniform sometimes. I like them to be a little bit wonky. Guess that's the word I want to use is wonky. Okay, I'm bringing it back. Taking another look. And I think I'm going to run this off down here too, down on this edge. Not all of it, but just some of it. Okay. And bring that back. And I'm going to take another look at it here. I do like that I was able to leave that white in between my ring pores here. I think that's really pretty. Just fix up a little bit here. Give another torch. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to pour another little cup in here and then tip it off because I, I really don't I don't like that corner that much. And I do have enough paint left, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Just put some more paint in a cup here and do another little ring pour on that part. That's why it's a good idea to um, save out some of your paint if you can in your pour in case you do want to add something at the end i do want to get a little more white in there and i think i will leave the pink off on this one color I really like is that last one that I explained, the one where I added the black. Such a pretty color. And I'm going to use up my white here, I think. Okay, let's see what we get with that. Got a little bit of this left here. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just do another pour right in here. Okay. Let's just give that part a little bit of a torch here. Okay, let's do some tipping again now. First I'll tip it this way. I might take some of that off there. And then I will tip it this way. And now I'm going to tip it this way. And bring it back. Just tipping until I get it to where I really like it. Tip a little bit off down there. And bring it back. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it now. Yes, I like that a lot, lot better. The only thing I'm not crazy about is right in here. And I think I'm gonna just try and do a little bit of tipping there. But I do like this corner. Very pretty with that muted pink in there. Let's just see what I can do here. Still seems to be quite a bit of paint on the canvas. Trying to be careful not to tip off what I like. Okay, and now I will bring it back. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a look at it. Like that a lot better. Just cleaning the bottom off here with my hands. We'll check my corners and I will give it another torch and then get you down for a close-up. I really, really like this. Beautiful. And I'm, I'm hoping that my camera will pick up some of the shine that I'm seeing with all these metallics.
Okay, let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, let's go down for our close up. And I wanted to explain that off camera, I did uh, two more little cups. One of them is this, uh, the bronze with the white. And another one is this. This is where that, just that plain pink area was with all the cells. I had a little paint left, so I did two more little cups and I'm just thrilled with um, the new results. So this is the upper left-hand corner. Hopefully you can see that shine coming through. Just, oh, it's really pretty in here, the different layers. And we'll go down the left-hand side here. Much happier now that I added those little cups, little ring pours. And this is just down the left lower corner here. Nice stripes there. And we will go up the middle here. Very pretty in here. Try and get close so you can see that. Very pretty. Colors are very nice in here. They played really well together. I was a little worried about the pink, but it did turn out pretty well. And in here, the stripes are really nice. I do like that stripe there. And this is the lower right-hand corner. And just up the right-hand side here. And very pretty in here. I do like this corner a lot. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. So let me know what you uh, think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. That would be great. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.